You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. Well, hey, Dan. good morning, Smalls. Good morning. How's everything in Smallville? Yeah, it's fabulous. A little hot, a little oh, steamy. It's, it's uh, definitely been hot. Man. You know, it was so hot the other night. How hot was it? When it cooled <laughs> off, uh-huh. we had to have a fire pit just to keep it above 90. Oh, so. nice. <laughs> nice. Fantastic. We were having a fire pit when it was like 92 degrees outside. And this has nothing to do with any of it, but hey, happy guinea pig appreciation day. Oh, yeah. I had no idea the popularity of this whole thing. Now, guinea pigs actually first domesticated as far back as 5000 BC. Wow. Have you ever had one? We, well, and this is where I got to kind of come clean here. My children are grown now. Oh, yeah. But uh, their first pet was a little, little guinea pig named Fluffy, named by my daughter, Sadie Hayes. Okay. And uh, gosh, somehow I forgot to, I don't know if it was water or feed it or something, but I we had just moved in and I, I kind of put Fluffy in his little cage off in the laundry room. And, right. well, being a busy guy, as I am, a multimedia star, if you will, uh, Fluffy kicked. Or did, and, it, or did uh, we get calls from PETA? Well, Flu- well Fluffy, did, Fluffy kicked, and uh, frankly, it was my fault. There's got to be some sort of statute of limitations. But I told Luke, Luke and Sadie that it was uh, guinea pigicide. Oh. But if it was your kid's pet, shouldn't they have been the ones responsible yes, for feeding Dan. and watering? Blame Tell them. me about it. <laughs> right? But hey, chillin', if you're listening, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but I made up this story where Fluffy took a header off its ladder. Oh. I said, yeah, I watched it happen. It was crazy. I don't know if he was bummed out or what the story was, but, <laughs> but it's pretty common with guinea pigs. They'll just just call an end the to move it. But, was too hard on him. Oh, oh wow. And as an aside, I've, I've never been a father of the year, so. Our dogs do not like this story, Dan. <laughs> Well, they're about the size of guinea pigs, actually. They used to like you. Now they're growling and snarling at you. Guinea pigs are amazing, though. It's a lot of kids' first pets, and they're, yeah, people dig them. Well, there Sorry. you go. Guys, I'm That's... kidding. <laughs> Thanks for listening kidding. to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour on Sunny 93.3. Do you have a credit card? Is it the very best credit card? Many people get their credit card as a response to an offer that was mailed to you. These are typically not the best cards. Check the fine print for the fees and interest. We have a website that compares many different cards being offered so you can find the one that's the best fit for you. If you'd like to find a better credit card, we'd love to help at bettercreditcards.net. There's no obligation. Just click and compare to see if we can get you a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net. Sunny 93.3, time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Hi, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Oh, chillin'. <laughs> How you doing? You being good little rangers today? Yes. Always, always. Yes. I'm so proud of you, too. You get all rangery and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. This is uh, this is fairly interesting. So, hey, little radio rangers, gather around the radio and uh, drop a little knowledge on you here. All right. I've got the breakout of all 50 states and which states you are most likely to be killed killed by animals by. Oh, okay. no kidding. And, uh, is this one of them? South Dakota is number three. Are you kidding me? In the top three. South Dakota is the third most dangerous state to be taken out by an animal. What animals are killing people here? And that's the thing. Everybody would would think because of, uh, was it the recent outbreak of, uh, we have an infestation of coyotes in the downtown area. Mm. Oh, yeah. I heard about that on Sunny Radio. Taking pets and several kids from uh, the apple tree on Sycamore. I don't think. (laughs) No. No, that's not happening. <laughs> it's deer. Oh. It's deer. Oh, yeah, I car suppose. Police. It's car deer accidents. and it's insects, like oh. bees flying in the window of your car, stuff stuff along along like that. So oh. this is, it doesn't say which animals, it's just by all animals. Yeah, all animals that, that uh, travel around North America. Killing people. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So, yeah, the odds are in South Dakota of being taken out by so, something from the wild. They're pretty darn good, actually. What is the state wow. that has the highest death rate? Uh, let's see. I wrote it Alaska? down. Um, Alaska would be a good bet, but no. Because here's the thing. Uh, Alaska is a bear. It's a bear deal. Right. Most brown bears, black bears, grizzly bears, whatever. You know what? Nah, the odds of getting killed by one of those are pretty slim. But polar bears mm-hmm. will stalk a human. They yeah. will? Oh, yes. They'll stalk you? Yes, and all polar bears are left-handed. I knew that. 
Oh, you did? I did. Well, circle. then why am I wearing the ranger hat? I, I, don't, I just remember reading it because I thought it was so interesting. See, for this particular bit, you're supposed to go, I didn't know that. Oh, ranger. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is fascinating, Dan. Thanks for that critter knowledge. Oh, I no, didn't know that, Ranger Dan. Note to self, hand John script. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, uh, I want to say Vermont oh. is, is one of them. No kidding. And uh, what is it? No, I'm sorry, Montana. Okay, yeah, that makes, Montana, that makes sense. Is number one. West Virginia is number two. And can really? anybody say West, West Virginia, Virginia without saying Mountain Mama? Mountain Mama? I know I can't. Take me home. Do you know which state has the least animal deaths? Uh, you know, I, I'd have to uh, click back through it, and that would mean research <laughs> and actually getting prepared for this show. So no, John. <laughs> just in the future, if there's a list of 50, I just want to know the top. So the I don't want to freak you out, little radio I'm gonna rangers. I'm going to guess North Dakota just because there's... What? Not a lot we, going on. We were number three, and they're right next to us. I, I would yeah, put that. Yeah, but there's really out. not very many people there, so the mm. number of the odds of being killed down. by something in the wild in South Dakota, your chances are one in eight hundred and fourteen thousand. Wow. Okay. So people, so, so it's still well, not huge, but still, well, so somebody's going to be that one. Still, it could be you on your way home today. Good. So, so be hey, careful. little radio rangers, you know, situational awareness. Always keep yeah. an eye out. You don't know what's coming right. for you, and that's all there is to it. Say your prayers, go to church, eat your veggies, blah, 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 blah. Do not play soccer, and don't, don't let me catch Crocs. you wearing Crocs. <laughs> I got my Crocs That's a tasing. Right <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. He tried to buy new Crocs. I'm going to buy day. new Crocs. I just found, I got a hookup on where I can find them, too. So He's such a disappointment. I'm going shopping <laughs> this afternoon. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Mr. Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3. The inventor of Rip It Gloves has been a drywall guy for decades. He was trying to find gloves that worked for him and his crew, but nothing was quite right. So he went out and created some. Rip It Gloves fit firm in your hand and protect your hands, but still allow you to use a touch screen. Professional athletes love the extra grip Rip It Gloves gives them. Painters, roofers, contractors, but also motorcycle and horseback riders. See why everyone loves Rip It Gloves at RipItGloves.com. Use promo code radio to save 25%. That's R-I-P-I-T gloves.com, promo code radio. Sunny 93.3, time right now for Water Cooler Talk with Mr. Dan Ferris. A segment of the show where I wear out shoe leather and I pound on desk demanding answers. The seedy underbelly of Sioux Falls. Oh yes, it's a living and breathing thing. It's just nobody wants to talk about it. I believe this is the third, the third as far as I know, an ongoing investigation into the Moonlight Relaxing Center in Sioux Falls. Busted again! Rubbing people without a license. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. We had this. They were in the news just a few months ago for yeah, the same darn thing. Unlicensed massage. Yeah, two masseusers got busted. Now it just happened again. And who's filing complaints on this? I really don't know. But Probably po- people who have a license. Police say they received several yeah, complaints sure again about the Moonlight Relaxing Center in Sioux Falls. They said uh, they witnessed someone leave the business who got a massage and that there was only one employee present at the time. The woman was not licensed mm. to give massages. So why do you have to be licensed to give it, somebody it's a, a massage? You need to be. It makes sense. If I sense, want to but walk it, up to somebody at a bus stop and massage their neck, I'm going to. Well, I mean, if that's, if that's what trips your trigger, go ahead and do it. President, <laughs> so, uh, Police arrested creepy. fifty uh, six year old and no names, but her initials are Jia Jun Guo. Oh really? Those are quite the initials. <laughs> it's always the Irish. They're just just it's a crime infested community. <laughs> thing i wonder how hard is it for her to get her license well i'll tell you john i'm glad you brought that up because again i wear out shoe leather and i pound on desks and demand answers about the only way as far as i can tell in the great state of south dakota is to actually enroll in and attend and graduate from the south dakota school of massage oh okay that's a thing that yeah oh yeah i've been around for a whole long time over on 22nd Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 I know people that have gone there. With tuition, with application fee, with insurance, with books, with a first aid kit for some flipping reason. In case you need first aid. And with sales tax, and keep in mind, oils, tables, and chairs are optional, but if you do snag onto them, you are looking at about seven months worth of courses, about 700 hours of classroom work, and a price tag of about 8500 bucks. That is absolutely get insane. Now, consider but your average massage. Back. Your average massage is about a buck a minute are like 60 bucks an hour, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you would have to give about 140 massages at 60 bucks an hour just to recoup that but money. You, you could do that. You should be able to do that. You could do that. John, this... I, this is, I, I, this is government... Do overreaching i think why 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 does it matter to anybody who you rub and when because i think that's ridiculous seriously i have very low standards as far as who touches me (laughs) 
hey, think most hey, of us Heidi, do. Yeah. stay away from Dan. <laughs> you are going to go to prison, lady. I'm just saying, I think it's funny that this place, the Moonlight Relaxing Center, and it was back in May, two others were arrested there for the same reason. So, so. I wonder well, if the fines we had must somebody... be cheaper than, than yes, the schooling. <laughs> that's exactly right. They're still ahead, they're still in the black. <laughs> So I wonder if we had somebody come in and give an unlicensed massage on the radio, if they would go directly to prison. You think? <laughs> let's try it. I don't know, let's give it a let's shot. Let's give them a call and have them come in well, and give, give us an unlicensed massage. All I know is my masseuse, my masseuse moved to Austin, Texas, and I've been busted up ever since. I never asked her if she had a license. I didn't care. <laughs> I don't care if she's a felon. I didn't care. <laughs> she didn't have a table. She didn't have a storefront. I don't care. I mean, I literally didn't care. Meet her in the back of her Chevy Vega. It's like, yes, that feels down. very good. Here's all my money. Wow. Somehow we got off course. I don't know how that happens here. I think we should uh, take a break. And I'm going to reach out to Jeff from Crescent Real Estate Group. We're going to chat with him in just a bit. And then we'll be back with Entertainment News of the Day. And that's all on the way on Sunny 93.3. Join us for a fun week in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic for the third annual 80s in the Sand. We've been there the last two years. In addition to making a bunch of awesome new friends, we had so much fun meeting 80s actors and musicians. 80s in the Sand takes over the entire resort. So you'll mingle with them at the pools and the restaurants too. We'd love to have you join us. See the amazing lineup featuring Sammy Hagar and many more at radiotravelgroup.com. Save $200 per person for first time guests at radiotravelgroup.com. Sunny 93.3, thank you for listening to the John and Heidi show on a Tuesday. Right now, it's time for a real estate update with Mr. Jeff Harding from Crescent Real Estate Group. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you, John? Doing really good. Now, you had a little vacation uh, tail end of last week. Uh, did you guys get to relax at all? or? We did. You know, I mean, anytime you go to the whole family and head to the Black Hills, it's always going to be an adventure. But we saw the normal things, and then we saw we went off the beaten path and did a lot of fun stuff uh, that most people probably wouldn't think of when they go out there. So, Well, that's awesome. Is it a good time to buy and sell a home? It's a great time to buy and sell a home. <laughs> Interest rates are great right now, so anybody who's out looking for a mortgage, uh, they're going to be pleasantly surprised. It's a seller's market, obviously. There's a lot of a lot of homes, a lot of inventory, but it's competitive. You know, you want to be ready to buy. You want to get your mortgage in place and talk to a good realtor, get get somebody helping you out. Because when you find that right home, you've got to be ready to move in, Absolutely. This, in this type of a market. And if you're looking for a good realtor, I'm going to suggest mine. His name is Jeff Harding. He was really, really good. Well, I appreciate <laughs> Absolutely. Now, something you guys are doing this week, this is kind of a cool thing. On Thursday, you're going to go golfing all day, is that right? I am. You know, I, I'm one of those guys who maybe only golfs a few times a year, but I've assembled an all-star team <laughs> to help carry me to this. It's a four-man scramble that we're actually sponsoring a hole in this golf tournament. Ty over at State Farms putting on a golf tournament called the Collision Classic going to raise a lot of money for uh, the Collision Youth Movement here in Sioux Falls. Yeah, it's an awesome organization. Yeah, hundreds of kids that, uh, not just in Sioux Falls, are spreading across the state, and there's different ages. Most of them are junior high and high school kids. They're going into both Christian and public schools. They're doing bagels in the morning, they're doing pizza at noon, kind of aside from your normal lunch programs, as a way to reach out to fellow students. Uh, they share their faith. We're talking about hundreds of kids from dozens of different churches. They're reaching out to their peers. And, you know, a lot of these kids, they're dealing with depression and suicide and things like that. And we'd like to think that our public schools are equipped pretty well to recognize these issues as they come and deal with them. But, you know, when you have a Christ-centered approach to this, I think these kids are really reaching their, their peers and helping them through difficult times in, in, in a way that maybe these kids wouldn't have been reached otherwise. Absolutely. And you can learn more about their organization at collision.org. We're excited to be a part of funding that in this fundraiser. We're sponsoring a par three hole. The closest to the pin contest is going to be Crescent Real Estate. We're giving away a gift card to Crawford's. Nice. For the closest to the pin. But yeah, it should be a lot of fun, other than the fact that it's going to be about 95 degrees and 180% <laughs> humidity and three mile an hour wind. But 
Other than that, it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> and we need to make sure we talk about the Dream Concert Giveaway. We're actually giving that away August 1st, so your last chance to register is July 31st. Jeff, tell everybody a little bit about the Dream Concert Giveaway from Crescent Real Estate Group. We're really excited about this. We started this contest with you guys at Sunny about a month and a half ago, I suppose. We had this idea, you know, Aerosmith is doing their residency in Vegas. And the truth is, Aerosmith, they're no spring chicken anymore, but they put on a great show. Oh, yeah. This might be one of their big last hurrahs. We thought, how cool would it be to fly two people to Vegas, put them up in a king suite at the Luxor Hotel, and a block down the street at the MGM, their last night there. They'll be there for four nights, and their last night, they're going to have great seats to go see Aerosmith. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. If you'd like to register, now is your chance to do that. We have a link at SunnyRadio.com. We also have it on our Facebook page. They've got it on their Facebook page for Crescent Real Estate Group. I've been sharing it on my personal page. We're doing our best to get that out there, aren't we, Jeff? We are. And, you know, honestly, it takes 15 seconds to enter the contest, and it's free. You might as well tag your friend in a Facebook post, get them to enter so you got twice the shot. You know, anybody can enter. Except for Heidi, because she's banned from Vegas, but <laughs> anybody else can enter. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for all that you guys do, not only in the community, but also helping out with this. I think it's going to be a really cool prize for somebody to win, and you're going to help some family make some amazing memories right there. We're excited because, like you said, we're going to call the winner on August 1st, uh, live on the air, let them know they won. It's going to be kind of a candid moment. We might have to do a couple second delay in case somebody passes out finding out they won the trip, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> I think so, too. Well, Jeff, thank you so much. You have fun golfing. I guess we'll talk to you Thursday morning. You bet. Again, Jeff Harding with Crescent Real Estate Group. If you'd like to register for the Dream Concert Giveaway, now's your chance. Get all the details at SunnyRadio.com. Credit cards. They can be trouble. About 12 years ago, we did a debt snowball program and got rid of our credit cards. We were debt-free except for our house. It was awesome. But over the course of the next decade, our credit score went down. That sounds weird, but they need open accounts to give you a score. Our lower score made our insurance rates go up. We decided to get a credit card to help with that. We just pay it off every month. If you want a better credit card, check out BetterCreditCards.net. They help you compare all the different cards to get the best one for you. That's BetterCreditCards.net. Sunny 93.3, time now for Entertainment News of the Day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Because celebrities fabulous. are fabulous. Their skin is perfect, but they weren't born that way. They have better moisturizers than you and me. <laughs> Some of these moisturizers may contain tiger sweat, beluga eggs, and badger milk. And they're expertly applied by masseuses with names like Bruno and Svetlana. The license. Every every little nook and cranny gets moisturized. (laughs) What's going on at the box office? Spider-Man. This is a 27th (laughs) sequel. I don't know what it is, but the web slinger over the weekend, another 45 mil. Nice. On box office. A stunning, stunning take of 274 million globally, almost 850 million so far in its fourth week of release. Nice. People love the superhero thing. It's like, it's almost like they can't fail. Can't fail. Well, they can fail. They've had some that That's haven't done so well. There's been a, been a few stinkers, but yeah, people just eat it up. Uh, Disney and Pixar's Toy Story 4, set in huge numbers as well, coming in uh, second place over the weekend, generating another $20 million. So far, it's tapped into $770 million worldwide. Hmm. Nice. So there you go. Congrats to them. I know that they're hurting for money, so uh, it'd be nice <laughs> if they spread oh, it not, around. No, no, Here's the thing that's interesting. It seems like the companies that have the money that you know they'll stick millions into these things. It's almost like it's a sure bet that they're going to get it back. I'm always a big fan of the underdog movies that have like no budget and do well. Those are the ones that are amazing to me. I'm never amazed when you know a Marvel movie or a DC Comics movie does well, or a Pixar movie when it does. I'm never amazed by those. But I, I am amazed when there's some little, you know, little movie that can't that actually does. That's always just fascinating to me. Deary Off the Wall is available on Amazon. It is. Dan Ferris, the guy that was just talking, he's one of the people, one of the stars of the movie. Hey, uh, who man, do you, what do you, what is your character's name again? It made my career. Uncle Wally. I'm Uncle Wally Grant, yes. firefighter. Uncle Wally. Yep. Heidi's in this movie as well. I what is am? your character? 
Uh, who Bella was Bella? I? Bella, Bella <laughs> Pittman. Not Bella Pittman. Who, who am I again? I don't remember who I was. I was Bella. Bella, Bella. And I'm, what was my name? Jerry? But hey, it pays. So, <laughs> we don't know who we were. We're talking, talking about $850 million for the latest Spider-Man. Yeah. Now, people who have gone to Amazon Prime and actually spent some time watching Deary Off the Wall. It's been good. That has gotten Huge. our director, uh, producer, $66. Yeah, 66 so, bucks. It's made. 66 wow. bucks, man. So. That wasn't this weekend. That was since it started. <laughs> since inception. So we're just several, <laughs> made. several million away from getting top-end moisturizers. <laughs> exactly. And the... the <laughs> You can watch it, too. I'll throw a link on our Facebook page to find Deary off the wall. Dan, thanks for coming in, man. Yep, doing my job. Again, Dan Ferris with our entertainment news of the day on Sunny 93.3.